Hi everyone. Tonight I've been doing a, a study, not a, a drawing study, but more uh, ask myself a question, uh, which was uh, uh, when I draw one line uh, or one curve, how many lines uh, equal to the same amount of time and effort uh, than one curve and and also there is uh, the C curve, which is the simplest curve, and you have a curve with uh, more points if you do uh, uh, a Bézier, uh, Bézier curve. Here it's just uh, three points, one point here at the beginning, one point at the end, uh, a point around here uh, that make the curves. And also, uh, if you do uh, more, some more complex curve, like uh, this one, you have one point at the beginning here, one at the end here, and then you will have some uh, one here, one also here, one probably here, and uh, in this one I should have around six points. And uh, so what I wanted to see, if if I take uh, one curve of complexity five uh, six, and uh, I do twenty of them, and then I do uh, uh, three curves of complexity too, so just straight lines and also if I do uh, two curves of complexity one, uh, three, <laughs> so C curves uh, all uh, the, uh, du with the same duration uh, can I have, uh, do I have the same, uh, the same result in terms of uh, average error? Are they more or less uh, as uh, easy or as hard to do uh, uh, in the same time. So just wanted to see uh, if the relation uh, here between the number of curve and the number of points in each of the curve uh, uh, Okay, it's hard to explain. <laughs> anyway, let's go see the result and I will go into the explanation a bit uh, further later. Uh, so for the C, C curve, so I, I've, doing, I've been doing two drawings of uh, C curves. Uh, my average error is 5.2. Um, right. For lines, yeah, I do a check, uh, each time uh, three lines. And uh, my average error is 5.8, so it's uh, quite high. Uh, maybe it's because I had never trained straight lines because I thought at the beginning that I was super good at straight lines but uh, it, it seems that I'm not uh, then I've done uh, one six point curve so uh, basic curve with six points inside and uh, with that I got an average error of, of 4.9 so a bit lower than uh, what I usually get and look like that. These two are my worst errors. These ones are my best one, which are really good. And one average one. Uh, so, oh, I see that. I think for the six point uh, curves, they are a bit lower because some, some of the time, uh, some points are collinear, so they are on the same line, so it just make a straight line. Uh, I think that can be uh, part of it. Also, uh, all the points are one after another, so you don't have to manage as much. Uh, here, you have to manage uh, the relation from one, uh, one object to the other. So actually, here I'm drawing one, two, I have one, two, three, four uh, points, uh, six, uh, five and six. Uh, but I also have like this invisible line that should, that is kind of there and I have to do and also uh, this uh, to D to here. Uh, I have also uh, that to do. So these relations uh, maybe uh, make it a little bit more complex. Or maybe I'm just bad at, uh, at straight lines. I'm not sure, but I think that uh, it's pretty close 
it's pretty close uh, to each other. Maybe uh, having more distinct line uh, add a little bit of uh, difficulty, but it's not uh, it's not extreme, I think. Anyway, I will going, I'm going to stop here for today, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.